Hey gang, uh, just a short little video. Um, so I grabbed this little uh, 18 volt cordless drill. It's really a no name, uh, tool tech, but fairly clean, doesn't look to be too, too old. Um, lithium powered 18 volt, it's only 1.5 amp hour battery. Of course it's, it was dead. There was no charger that come with it. Um, at, anyway, this this was at a thrift store that I that I visit every once in a while, and um, it was only eight dollars. So, so anyway, I um, grabbed it um, with the hopes that I could maybe revive the battery. There's no charger with it, but uh, figured I could gear something up. Anyway, I got it home. Of course, it's completely dead. Um, had the battery out and. Um, just to try to see how I could get on to the, the positive negative to charge it up. So you can see they're, they're marked far left is positive, far right is negative. Um, put my meter on it. I uh, couldn't get any, any voltage showing. Uh, I was trying to figure out how to gear up onto the positive negative, um, but then noticed this here port to plug in to charge it. Um, so it being 18 volt, we'd probably need at least 20 volts of incoming power. Didn't have anything that uh, was that voltage that would fit that. But um, I've got this device, so it gives me some uh, some ability to uh, to ramp, you know, basically set up a variable voltage outputs um, and it's got two ports to do so um, and I can dial it up to 25 volts if needed so so basically I got it set on the f the 0 to 25 volt a half amp um, switch is on the A A section A port I guess and then here's the dial here you can see it's set just uh, just shy of 25, but when you you look at the meter here, you can see it's putting out 20 volts when it's on, or just a hair over 20 volts. So um, just the other day, I threw out an adapter for an old charging uh, cord. The adapter uh, case had split, but I kept the end because you never know when you're going to need one. And again, I just it was just a few days ago I'd done that, and uh, what do you know, this here uh, actually fits this battery perfectly. And I was able to um, hook it up to the positive and negative here. Um, the positive wire has a, has a little white line. It's kind of a dashed white line. You can kind of see it runs up. That indicates that that's the positive for live. But either way, um, I hooked it up according to that and then checked it with my meter to make sure the core uh, in the center was the positive. Outside shell or outside casing is the negative. Anyway, uh, so I geared that up as so. Um, I said set it to 20. You can see right now without the uh, unit even turned on, my battery is showing uh, just shy of 19 volts, so 18 and a half. But uh, as you can see, when I turn it on, it just shows the feedback from the battery, which again is just about 19 volts at this point. Anyway, I charge that for probably 45 minutes to an hour at the most. And it held. I was checking it periodically throughout just to see if it was taking the charge. And uh, sure enough, it did. At first, it would only take you know get up to you know eight, nine, ten volts, twelve volts, and uh, the drill would turn, but it wouldn't last very long. So I left it for the forty-five minutes or thereabouts, and uh, to get a full charge, <clears throat> well, it took a while to get it to go up over eighteen, but now I guess like I just saw there, it's, it's nineteen, and uh, sure enough, it runs. It's got a light on it. It's just a three-eighths chuck on it. But, uh, it's got dual speed, and variable speed trigger, of course, two directions, pretty standard. 
Anyway, so, you know, it's not, it doesn't travel very well. This is a big old box, but uh, it'll do the trick to keep this battery charged up and gets me another drill. Um, anyway, not too bad for an $8 investment. So just wanted to share. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.